Welcome to Beyond the Code, the show that keeps you up to date on the latest fire safety news. And it also says, hey man, you see that emergency light up there? Well, if you don't want to adjust it, why should you? Yeah! episode of Beyond the Code. Today I'm joined by Exit Lamp Fixture Fire Alarm UL Listed Fire Marshal Inspected CFL Listed Very Safe Exit Marking Unit Combination 250 himself. Hey guys, Exit here. And I am also joined by uh New Jersey Cow 38. You're dang right. And, well, this is the very first episode of Beyond the Code. And uh, yeah. the, the last one was a pilot, and we got amazing support on that. So thank you guys so, for all the likes. Series, fries. So, yeah. Thank you. So thank yeah, you. We will get around to all of your uh, suggestions. We got a lot. In Thank you so much for that. So thank you guys for your suggestions, your amazing support, and well, well, today's lucky winner of an episode goes to actually I don't know, but you know what? Today we're going to be talking about yeah. We will hug. no no no. We I will give you a real hug. Okay, I'll pay for your airfare. Just come to me and I'll give you a hug if you want. Um, Remember, he lives on one two three generic. Something. One, two, three, generic street. Generic street, not drive. Don't get confused now. <laughs> um, so, today we're going to be talking about older fire alarm systems versus newer fire alarm systems. And again, I don't know who requested this. Um, and we're going to talk about. Yeah, ugh. new versus old systems. Who's the simply better one? Yep. And we're going to be talking about the pros and cons. And before you click off this video, because we sound like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Uh, we're going to get right into it. So, let's start with the pros of older systems. We're going to start with older firearm systems and uh, Mainly, we'll go um, from there. I don't know, what, what did we say? 70s, 80s, 90s? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Um, the term older firearm system we're going to be talking about is late 70s through mid 90s, late 90s. Um, we're not going to be really talking about coded systems because that's a whole different world. That's a whole different um, we're going to be talking about panel-based systems, mostly. Um, actually, all of it is. Um, alright, so wow, let's start with... very spicy. I know, I'm professional, I promise. Uh, <laughs> pros, 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 pros. First of all, I have better at grabbing attention audibly. Um, I feel like sure. that older mechanical horns were better at grabbing people's attention rather than like a wheelock MT set on horn, that dainty little tone it makes. It blends in too much with, you know, noise, and uh, I feel like mechanical horns can split through the air better. They're more prominent. They're just more commanding. Like, think about it. Do you think people are going to evacuate? Who's more likely to... Or, are people more likely to evacuate at the tone of a Wheelock MT that, that has a really high-pitched screeching noise or a mechanical Ow. horn, which sounds like it's urgent, not just, oh, you know, you know what? Mechanical horns are kind of like, get out of the building now or you're going to burn, okay? You're going to burn! But, you know, I feel like, I don't know, some of the newer horns are kind of like, you know what? Get out of the building when you want. It's whenever. Just take your time. It's it's, it's, it's completely it. your choice. And I don't like that because they yeah, are taken seriously. And also, seriously. most of the stuff back then was a much higher quality metal. So so much better than today. Now it's like, what? Cheapy, cheap. Yeah, if you notice that m most of these alarms in front of you, except for 
that one, the UHN. Um, they're fully plastic, and I really don't like that because the build quality is all, all gone down. It's made in China now. It's made in China. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of stuff made in China. Um, I just feel like metal. Well, you know, a few things are made in Mexico. Well, but think about it. One. I'm out of Mexico. Shush. Um, I feel like metal stuff is more impact resistant and, you know, less prone to breaking. In a way, we'll get that to that later. Um. Yeah. Nothing's proprietary. Everything works with everything, meaning you could slap a federal signal horn in place of a Faraday horn if it ever yeah. broke. You don't need to worry about, you know, oh, we need to get this brand because... This brand won't like the sync protocol. Um, it's or it's. This brand will fly. Flip, will fry this. Yeah, like uh, faster activation times from automatic stuff, which is good. Unlike more today's more, <laughs> is uh takes a little bit of time with addressability and everything. Yeah, think about it. With, with older systems, you know, it'll smoke will activate within that same second. The system's probably gonna go off, and uh, response time is everything when it comes to a fire. So. It's very, very, very important. Exactly. And companies actually cared about safety, unlike today. I mean, maybe there's a few, but now it's kind of safe money. They also, also try, like, kind of ties into build quality because we're cutting. Now their companies are starting to cut corners, make their alarms out of cheaper plastic just to get more money. And uh, they're less focused on safety, I feel like, and more focused on making a quick buck. Money. Because the industry exists. And, uh, that's not what I really want. Do you want that? No, no. no. Do you want a pull station no, that's no, going to no. break when you pull it? Like, look at this. You see this BG-10? It's not a BG-10. It's, it's build quality is so bad that when if you tighten that's the screw right, too much, true. it might cause a false it's alarm. Oh! That's perfect example of horrible build quality. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Firelight. Anyway, you know, get toasted. No. Toasted. Uh, All right. Um, your, your, your frosted mini wheat. Mm. Anyway, so the cons of older systems. Wait, that's is, copyright. We can't say that. Oh, uh, mini toaster. Daddy. <laughs> you, didn't hear, you didn't hear that last uh, time. Frosted, so, frosted hey, rice cereals. The cons of last time. What? There, ADA wasn't a thing, and there wasn't a lot of codes. Like, not a lot. Okay, so a lot of times with older systems, well. Back. All right, so if you don't know what ADA is, Americans with Disabilities Act, basically it's saying that some dude in a wheelchair should be able to activate a fire, a, uh, activate a fire alarm <laughs> just like a normal person does. Um, a lot of times with older systems, you'll see s pull stations mounted six feet above the ground. Six feet. And now feet. I take 20 pounds of force to pull. Yeah, so it, newer codes are like, you know, I think it's like 48 to 50. Four inches it above goes, the ground is the yeah. max, um, and less than five pounds of force. And I'm looking yeah. at you, game well. I'm 69, the hardest pull station to pull. You might you get a you get two claps for being the hardest pull station nah, to pull. Give me a clap for me. Anyway, so also more systems were generalized because it was zones, and also mechanical equals failure because it's a mechanical device that vibrates that. Can't fail, unlike modern stuff. Think about it. Horns back then were solely based upon a piece of metal striking another piece of metal. If there's stuff moving, it's bound to fail. Um, like the same thing with generalized stuff. It's like if there's a fire and we only have two zones, then oops, and it's like a four story building, then whoops. Yep. Whoops, I think. think about like Simplex 4208, so you have a you know, four zone 4208 for a five story office building, then. You know, if there's a fire, well, you're not really going to know where it is and what tripped and whatnot, and that's not good for the fire department, who are like, you know what? I guess we're just not going to put out the fire. Um, yeah. We don't know where it is. There's huge panels, too. They, they got to go play, like, hide-and-seek, and that's the last thing you want when you, there's a fire in your building. Wow, that's pretty great. Panels um, were huge. Um, I'm not going to... Yeah, and smoke detectors were less sensitive. And there's freaking heat detectors. And may I remind you... Yeah, heat detectors should not be in place with smoke detectors. Cause yeah. For all those lazy installers who think it's just easier and cheaper, do that. Too bad. Um, um, less choices and notifications. Hey, we forgot to talk about ionization. Hey, I'm going to throw a book at you, by the way. No, no, no. It's not no. This is, this is important. 
System sensors stopped manufacturing ionization solely because of the purpose it was not as effective as photoelectric. And ionization was mostly used back in the 80s and 90s. If you slap something one more time, I will throw up. I was tapping this notebook that I had to scratch a bunch of stuff out because we made this too long. All right, uh, continuing on. Did we get everything? Not too many codes to play. It's dangerous. Self-explanatory. Yeah. Um, codes are in place uh, for a reason. Likely to break down, but... We're now so, moving to newer firearm systems. This means systems built in the early 2000s through present. Um, right. We're going to start with the pros. Dressability, more intelligent. There was... This, like, yeah, think about it. Smarter systems, wider selections. Multi-Candela and ADA is finally in the building. So. That means you don't need to go out and buy a separate model for this Candela. You can just buy any model and select it yourself. Addressability, yeah. more intelligent. And more coverage, too. More coverage, more codes, and it's pretty much safer overall. Addressability, more intelligent, meaning you have preciser points, more points on a system. You know where everything is. Yeah, nothing is processors. generalized. Processors, big things to come to panels because you're basically putting a computer chip inside of the panel, and that made it run better. Um, um, yeah, more customizable. More coverage. Yeah. More poles everywhere. Yeah. No More notifications, more smokes. Um, that also ties into codes. Safer overall, yeah. you can have life safety systems such as myself. Um, where you can have carbon monoxide. You can have security if you really wanted to on some of the higher end of or er, notifier panels. I have CO and fire, and it's all on one panel, and it's great. Mm. Um, so now let's go into the the cons. The cut it. So cheaply made, and companies more care about saving money than actually protecting. That also kids. goes again with build quality of pole stations. We have Chinese plastic instead Angle. of you know U.S. made metal, and I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah, and then there's less variety and more rebranding. Just Think about it. you cannot go a day without seeing a Spectroid advance somewhere, and it's pretty horrible. Well, not for long. We got the L series. Oh, less is more. Remember, it's everybody. Right there, bud. Less is more. There. Wait, please sponsor System Sensor. If you're watching, please sponsor me. Um, well, you're suing me. Please sponsor anyway. me. In Gentex, why haven't you responded to my email? Anyway. Well, maybe they don't like you. Anyway, more complex to install and maintain than your average conventional system. Yep. So, you know. so think about it. If you wanted to, say, I don't know, a retrofit of an older system, and Simplex is only offering their new True Alert ESs. Yes! Fully addressable. That means instead of ES ES two fifty. Saying uh, <laughs> that's bad. Um, but say bad, like say sir. like the pole stations are fine. Notification points need to be changed out, and so is the panel. That means you have to change out the panel and notification appliances and pole stations because it's a fully addressable panel, and that's less and flexibility. Stop. And it's just gonna cost more and be more inconvenience and garbage like that. I say yeah. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, mm -hmm. um. And finally, finally, pretty much the bad or lazy installation. Think about this. Think about this for a second. Think about this. I'm going to do a live demonstration. Say you had an original system oh, 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 with, this, uh -huh. with this combination, right? Not legit, but we lock horn on a simplex light plate. Say the horn broke down, right? Some installer, the normal installer, would take the plate off, take the entire unit off, Put a plate, adapt plate, put this EHDL one, right? The lazy installer, take this plate, leave it there, just, just slap the EHL, EHDL one right over it and say it's done. That's lazy. And I do not approve. Well, too bad. Um, that horn combination looks good. Anyway, so those are the basic pros and cons of firearm systems. And a new fire fire alert um alert get out of the building flash flash beep beep basically everything i have to say about it um these are all just our opinions and we probably forget a lot because we made we made this list at 1 a.m so you know we're probably missing a bunch of stuff don't get heated if you don't agree with us see what i did there so you can get it fire also today's uh episode was sponsored by hk bill better batteries and more Thank you for sending me a dead battery in my generic emergency light. I appreciate it so much. He does, actually. Um, and uh, congrats. You made it on my channel. Feel special.
Not too many people get to do that. So we're going to wrap it up here. Oh, my God. I just ripped off my notes. Um, I was reading off a oh, notepad, by the way. I'm cheating. Um, yeah, yeah, I am too. See, you see that? Did you just crumple it up? Yeah, I'm going to throw it at my MS, too. Congrats. Anyway, um, so closing remarks. Uh, less equals more. No, it doesn't. System sensor, stop reskinning your products. Um, oh. Simplex, get rid you of your truer ES. Get rid of your truer ESs. No one likes them. It's going to end up like the 2120 sitting in the back of the warehouse not being used. Um, and, uh, yeah. We're going to end it here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. If you guys have yeah, any leave your suggestions, suggestions in that leave your box. suggestions. We'll get to it. I promise I'm not lying to you just to we'll get you away from me. We got too many, but yeah, let us know what you think of the series and if anything we can change, update, you know, revamp something spicy. And uh, we'll listen to your comments, take them into consideration, make an episode, and hopefully we you won't feedback, forget yeah, your okay. name. And it, like we said in the pilot, this is your series. Remember, you can control it, not. But kind of as a give back. Less but. equals more. Oh, yeah. And uh, this episode is also sponsored by the Exit Sign. No, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting the brand. But the, the Sign Out Series. The Sign Out Series of Exit Signs. I'm so done. I can't it's stand that water. name. Nope. It's just it's triggering. Four. It's like easy. Easy lies that exist too. I'm so done. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm at jmu 3652 He's easy 250 And we'll see you guys in a later video. Bye.